Hello YouTube. Let's play Cave Story, also known as Dokutsu Monogatari. Now I have played through this game once before, but um, yeah, uh, I felt like playing it, playing through it again. And someone suggested that I record my whole run, so let's see how much I remember. And uh, this is where you start, in the middle of nowhere. Just gonna avoid those, simple enough. Yes, don't worry for you who haven't seen this game before. You actually get a weapon later. Okay, it's not really later, but... I'll pretty much get a weapon after I get through this cave here. Oh crap. Wait for the bats. Freaking bats. And jump! Ha! Got over. Whereas this game is kind of a, like a mix between Metroid or and Mega Man. Uh, now we have the Polar Star, so we're just gonna steal it. But first, the transmission. <laughs> so now we have to go back to where we came from. That's not really that hard either. And make sure to collect some triangles on the way back. You will need them to upgrade your gun. If you don't upgrade, you're gonna gr regret it later when you get to the egg ca chamber. You probably won't be able to get it to rank 3 until then, but um, at least you'll get to rank 2, and that's good enough. That's a fair amount of damage. Ouch. My bad. And here we have the evil door. Yes, it can hurt you. And I messed up badly. And these transmissions are starting to piss me off. Do, 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 do. I really wish there was a way to skip the cutscenes. Now, if some random thing is fell down from the sky, I would immediately uh, suspect them of being an enemy. I wouldn't start trusting them the first thing I did. Especially if it helped my prisoner escape. But whatever. Whatever floats their boat. Or in this, or in this case, floating island. Silver locket. It's amazing really how the hell Torko can keep knocking him out like that, constantly, every single time. Right now we're in the shack. And here comes the first boss fight. But first, go knock this one out. Go here, talk to her. Here comes the double duo. Balrog 
which I'm not really sure what he is. Some kind of a mix between a toaster and a television or something like that. And then we have Misery. She's some kind of witch. Not really sure, really. And there she goes. Yes, I'm gonna fight you. The first boss fight is really simple, as long as you make sure you do not get hit by his, uh, when he runs past you. And when he jumps, it's also fairly easy to avoid. As you can see, all you have to do is move a little. And we beat him. Simple. Morganius reached level 2. Hell yeah! Alright, let's go find some equipment. And when I say equipment, I mean more health. But first, let's save. Yep, saving. In case you're wondering why we're going up here first before actually getting the key. Well, I just remember the location of that heart, so I'm just gonna get it. There we go. Crap! Fell down! Going up again! Hmm, my voice sounds kinda boring. Oh shit, do, 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 the only thing that's annoying with them is that they don't really drop any items at all. Neither health nor upgrades. Which I kinda need. Except those. Also notice short guy over here. He's gonna be useful later in the game so might as well remember where he is, eh? Now we have our first keys. Going down again. Hmm. Yeah, that's your save. I'm gonna go help my father for a short while, so I'll be back.